Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, avoid many upsets in your life. You're feeling anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 159. Nasdaq's up 120. S&P's up uh, 29. Gold contract up $22.90 at $16.93 an ounce. We had silver up uh, 72 cents, $19.90 an ounce. Light sweet crude flat. Trade. Whoops. Trading out of the price point of 84.18 notes and bonds. The 10-year note up eight ticks, trading 114.03. The 30-year up 20 at 130.16. And King Dollar, King Dollar up 601 ticks, trading 110.818. The Euro is at 98. The Yen is at 143. And the British Pound is at 113 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the SPs? Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we go, we take a look at the spy first. So, what you have out here, we had we had divergence last night. Okay. What we did have is that, you know, when we were talking about this in the program yesterday, the bottom line is that the spy had rejected lower price, had lighter volume, all of the above, right? As did the Dow Industrial. So bottom line, what you have out here today, you know, we got down to a lower low today. We got down to 380 and uh, rejected it, went to 386. And I suspect, you know, you're going to basically, you know, stay clean and, you know, stay up. Uh, the volatility is going to continue right into the close, no doubt about it. Jay Powell speaking right now. And um, we'll see when he finishes what the market wants to do with it. Uh, we go over into the, um, well, here, yeah, let, let's, I, this is, I'd say this is what I picked up really quick, man, uh, when this was coming out. So picture this for a second. We have gone from zero to 3.25 in uh, 10 months, okay? That's the upper band. The first thing the Fed came out and said that they're going to be at, and they didn't say when on 2023, that they're going to be at 4.6. Well, guess what? We're for 3.25 to 4.6, and we're talking about 2023. Um, that tells me that the bulk of the charge on the interest rate we've seen. So, you know, with 3.25 right now, if you just do the math behind it, you get 1.20. And we're talking about, we don't know whether we're talking about, um, you know, four months, because it could be January, right? You get... Uh, yeah, or it could be, you know, 11, 12, 13 months. Um, I think the market recognized that. I think they said, okay, the bottom line is that now, now the, the kicker here inside the rate structure, and, you know, Paul's out there saying, hey, man, you know, we're going to go there and we're going to keep it there, you know. So that, that's the, that structure there, you know, that's still going to put pain into the economy. There's no doubt about that. You know, so, uh, you know, my, my take here, though, is that we're going to get a bounce. <laughs> this is S&Ps, man. Look at this S&Ps. you got to love it. Okay, so let's look at this S&P for a second. Because you had the S&P. Watch, watch this. This is, like, amazing. I, these days, folks, volatility is so where it's at, man. If it was volatile every day, we'd all be in heaven. So, okay, so see what's happening here, man? This is pretty cool. Now, watch this. This is, this is. This is pretty cool, man. Okay, so we hit a high on the S&P, okay, of uh, 39.25. And we are off that high now <laughs> by uh, almost 60 points, okay? That being said, you can see what's happening here. The bottom line is that you're, you're backing in. Let me see this. So right now, this bar just started, right? We are at 311. This bar is backing in. We're backing into a bar that uh, has 139,000 contracts. So, you know, bottom line, if you're watching how this shakes out, um, I'd wait for this bar to finish. And guess what? Um, if, you, if we get a test 
of the lows out here, that would be a gift from the trading god. So, so the, the, the low, the first spike down at 1,400 hours at 2 o'clock, uh, that low there was 38.32. And uh, bottom line, you know, if we go after that low, uh, and the volume is going to be much lighter, you know, that to me would be buy all day long. And I'm talking about even within, it, it'll get down there, and then it won't stay down there, and then you go positive again. So this is really going to be a, a cool uh, aspect of where all of these equities are actually going. We go over to the gold contract. You're going to see with the gold contract, the bottom line is that what we also have, you, you got a bid going. We have volume going. You get 200,000, 204,000 already, and that's what we need. That's what we need for, you know, basically expansion going higher. Um, and then now we got to look at the dollar. This is something else, man. Watch this. This is really something else. Okay, so we got a spike up to 111,578. The real kicker here is that where is this going to close for the day? Um, right now, you're at 110,930. Now, if it closed under 110,786, which was the high that was going into, that high was established on the 7th, um, that, that basically was set up that, you know, you, this dollar wants to back down again. That's how this is shaking out. So uh, you're at 904. 786 is the number that you want to keep your eye on. That's how this baby is uh, shaking out right now. And then if we go over to the note and bond market, what you're going to see in the note and bond market, that's also getting a bounce too. You know, we had the 10-year uh, the right now. That little baby uh, traded down to 113.09, and now you're at 114.02. You know, so this this. You got you got a little relief out here that's happening. That's how, that's how this market's trading right now. Look at this, man. You're gonna love it. Unbelievable. You get the Dow. The Dow's up seven. Nasdaq's up uh, 47. You get the S&P's up eight. They were up 50. They went down. Went negative 20. Now you're up 14. Bottom line, folks. I suspect what you're gonna have here if you're trading. This market wants to finish at its highs. So you're gonna love it. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs>